I just want to say something real quick. This I partially agree with what you're saying and what Marvel said. I don't really like the word tame. That word is like, because your woman is not a dog, right? Hey, that's um, that's you and are, you don't want us are, to come. Y'all are unstable tame creatures. You, and we are, which is why I agree with what Marvel is saying to a certain degree, right? No, you shouldn't have to tolerate a woman that intentionally does it. But women are always going to be a little bit more emotionally unstable than men just because of our biological makeup. Let's just say, for instance, a woman around her um, period or menstrual cycle time is a little bit different than she is the rest of the month. She might be moody. She might be, you know, a little bit more irritable. It's not that she's doing it intentionally. That's just how our bodies work and how we react to it. Now, I understood what Marvel was saying with understanding your woman and being able to sit with her through that. No, you shouldn't have to sit with her being constantly disrespectful to you for any reason, but you should learn to sit with your woman through those stages because we're not always going to be on one playing field. That's just not how women are built, right? We're going to have our up days. We're going to have our down days just like you guys, but we are way more emotional so it's always going to come out of us for most women. Some women aren't like that, but most women are like that. So you do have to learn to deal with that. And at the same time, there will be certain times where you have to also put your foot down because like you were stating, a woman that deals with a man that she realizes that she can run over will run right over you, right, to the next man. Because it's not that we are, you know, going to go back and test you. It's really to see how much can I really trust in you to lead this? If I could run over you, then it's no way you could lead this household. So now I need to move on to somebody else who's a little bit more stronger. That don't mean you taming me, though. Right? Well, so, well, Ty, with, with everything that you named, those are literally moments in where a, a woman, from a male's perspective, this is me using man lingo. Okay. It's, that's that's when you have to be, that's when I got to tame you. If you, if you act in, in a chaotic state because you're, you're menstruating or you're going through this, you're going through that or whatever, in order for me to get you to be back balanced, it, it takes for me to tame you. So I, How? I understand How? that. I understand that. that I, speak on I, that I, I understand that that, I understand that that word is triggering, but when, if if we're looking at it from from a societal aspect, right? Okay. We okay. we use the word tame, uh, or we hear it rather with, with animals. wild animals, right? With wild animals. Now, with these wild animals, <laughs> you're not you're not going out and beating these wild animals into submission. You that, actually that's not do. How it works. For instance, with stallions, with horses, my father used to be around horse farms, and we would go out and watch them tame wild horses and they would use whips and whip them lasso them pull them surround them intimidate them they would try to break them in order to tame them that's how you tame that's a male horse though animals. A stallion is a male right. horse so right it is though but but that's how you tame wild animals period you have to beat them into submission so that's what i'm saying tame wouldn't be the best word for that, because uh, there's I no way you can tame your woman's menstrual period. Hold on, y'all. Let me get Marvin. Yeah, hold on, let me get Marvin. Uh, uh, hold on. We we gotta we gotta clarify this the tame part though. Yes. I, I think I think that is I, I, I get can what you're saying. Can still... we use regulate instead of tame? Help regulate her and her. Regulate emotions? can be it, what's wrong it, with regulate. It means it, it's the it's the same shit. No, it's you know not. What I'm no, it's you not. don't you don't you don't regulate animals. You tame. Let me Google. And you regulate people. Yeah, we not gonna do that. You don't tame look, people. You regulate. You can just say calm. Look, look you can always just say the calm. Let's let's go. let's okay. use let's use the let's use the example that Ty that Ty said. So she said that if you allow for this woman to continue to run over you, she's essentially attempting to break you. So so mm -hmm. why is it why is it different? And that wait, wait, example. Before we go there, can we get everybody's opinion about the clip first? No, don't try it. Don't try and change the subject now because I, I, I'm putting it out. I, I, mean, I, about I wanted to speak to that, you know, just for some clarification for my brother and my sister. So, brother, when I'm 
uh, based on the book, when I mean tolerate, I might have used the word, wrong word. Like you use tame, I, I guess. It's not so tolerate. Uh, it's more so of, and I agree with you, bro. No, I've, I've, I've read that, the book. So I, I know what you're talking about. Right. Uh, right. So there's a natural way that if you know your, your woman, that's a natural way she responds when she's emotional. If you know your woman. That's a natural way. And then there's a way that you also know that she's intentionally doing something to push you. And see, that's not what, what we're addressing. I'm addressing that regular, maybe at work, coming home, irritation, maybe something going on, irritation. Maybe you hurt her in some, some type of way, but you can't sit with it. Uh, and she asks, well, how can you calm your woman down? And so you already read that book, right? So the way the book describes it, and as I know, is it's by loving your woman in that moment not loving not again not loving your woman in a moment where you know she's intentionally saying things to prick at you but i'm talking about in a moment where she's really hurt or disappointed or upset and i never learned how to just sit with that i've actually done it with my mom once or twice i'm like all right this is how you get my mom to calm down and for me it was it was physical touch and just giving love and that's how you I don't want to say tame, but that's how you tame the beast, that angry, that angry spirit inside of you, you based on the book, if you read the book, you do it with love because let me make this point. A lot of times that chaotic spirit is coming out of a fear of safety, desire, and security. So when I feel like when they're doing that without the intent on manipulating or trying to control when they're doing it, they want to know that they secure. So right. you're going to feel secure you retreat from her during those times if you become quiet if you retreat if you don't sit through the issue and talk about it if you blow it off if you deflect it and see i'm just basing that off of what i do i can't say that you you other men did it but i'm learning for myself i retreated i didn't address the issues you know what i'm saying i didn't stay with her when she was going through it you know i made her feel like she was crazy for talking about the things she was talking about and yes yeah, she was abrasive in the manner in which she was saying it but I couldn't sit with, you know, I didn't sit with her and love her through it. And and again, brother, I agree with you. Not when they being manipulative and you know they doing stuff purposely to uh to prick at you. You know, usually when they doing that, they tired of you. They tired of your ass. They they doing something to push you out the door by that time. But that's my take on that. Uh, I think yes and no. I mean that that goes back to again the and it, that goes back again to it being in their nature to make sure that that I'm safe and secure here, just like you said. So if if she feels safe and secure, you're going to you're going to experience that a lot less. But if she doesn't, then it's going to be more often because now she's she's consistently trying to see, are you going to show up in the way that she wants or expects for you to? 